what is it what is it about someone like that um uh, what is it what is what was it specifically about thorpey that made him unique that that you saw separated him from everybody else i think initially definitely his mental toughness um he could not only so you use that in 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 training so he could endure things that you know i've seen him do 3k for time that would you know he was holding double loads or something like that but the, you know just things that he would put himself in those in that hurt locker and he would just be able to work on a stroke and just groove technique and he, he knew exactly and he started doing things a little bit different even back in i remember in 2004 you know just before he he won the race of the century he started doing a bunch of yoga and meditation and and we're like what what are you doing like no, no swimmers were doing that back then you know mm, and mm. now every now 20 years later everyone's jumping on that so he had a foresight in obviously knowing your capability and then applying it to your training and mm. getting the most of getting the most out of yourself is a talent i think so i think mm. and thorpey you know he had he also had great sporting intellect and he was able to work with you know the the attributes that he had i mean it's one thing having big feet but having the quads to drive it that's the other thing and he mm. was able to you know to do incredible kick sets and he you know he and you i think he knew his his body better than than anyone else did so um yeah so those two things i think um just and same with alex you know i, I when i first went to canberra um i was obviously trying to study alex what he's doing and mm. what makes him different to others and i think you know, Alex could, he knew when to pull back when his body wasn't quite right. He knew when he had to go hard. And, um, you know, he, I think they, they just know themselves in, in, instinctively almost, you know. So mm. it's, uh, that's the difference, I think. Yeah. There's also one other thing I think that, that's really important to talk about here. I've sat with, we sat with, you and I sat with Ian right before that race of the century. I remember that we were, we were, <laughs> We're in a kind of a circle with him about 10 minutes before that race in, in Athens. Yeah. And he was very composed. And yeah. I remember being in many ready rooms. Uh, they call them the, the um, you know, the, the, marshalling where, where, you know, the marshalling area, you know. I remember being in many, you know, ready rooms with Alex Popov and he was composed. And yeah. I, I remember I was talking to David Popovich the other day and he said you know I got nervous he's like everybody gets nervous but he's like I looked at my competitors and I said I feel scared but he's like they feel more scared of me than I feel of them you know mm -hmm. like that was his mentality yeah. and I think that's that's kind of what I saw in kind of a pop of or a or a Thorpe it was like yes I feel nervous yes I understand the magnitude of the situation but I'm able to control it more so than my competitors my competitors are feeling it more than I'm feeling yeah. it yeah. Is, that, is that right? Oh, absolutely. And you know what actually makes it double, it doubly worse for the um, for the competitors in the mm -hmm. event when you look relaxed and joking, and it doesn't seem to affect you. And Alex was always the larrikin in the in the call room, and mm. um, even Ian would make jokes and things like he he didn't care, or if it was you know this mm. was he was about to walk out to Olympic final and he'd be cracking jokes. So. And that mm. puts off everybody else quite a bit because mm. how come this guy's not nervous? You know, he's mm. about to do the race of the century and it's he's not faced by it. So that that's another <laughs> mm. you know, that's so yeah, I, I absolutely. But even like the I remember um, you know, Peter Van den Hugen band, another freestyler again, was very composed, a little probably a little bit more serious, but again, at the um knew his capabilities and knew that if he swims his best no one can beat him so there was uh i think and that that could be taken across the ranks in any sort of um any of those sort of events even look at emma mckeon at the moment she's very composed but relaxed mm. you know, those mm. best it's just and it's you're composed so you don't burn nervous energy which you really definitely need in in that event so um yeah it's uh it used to be quite funny the more confident alex was the more 
obnoxious he was in the call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been in a few of those with him. <laughs> For sure. Jody Henry was, and Jody Henry wasn't obnoxious, but very relaxed, very composed, yeah. you know, um, exactly. someone like exactly. that.